Each year, the proliferation of weapons and ammunition in post-conflict situations fuels the return to armed conflict, bringing back the horror of war, dividing families and peoples. In some countries, there are as many gunshot wounds as there are landmine casualties. When there's an international ceasefire, there's not a quick enough response in, in removing weapons and ammunition. In post-conflict situations, fast, effective disarmament is vital to stop the fragile peace regressing into the chaos of armed conflict. Pioneer of humanitarian mine clearance, the HALO Trust has over 7,000 staff worldwide. As part of its mine clearance operations, HALO destroys well over a million explosive items each year. And it is upon these foundations that HALO has now developed a parallel weapons and ammunition disposal program. With HALO's experience around the world from destroying landmines and unexploded ordnance, we decided to embark on a program for getting rid of the weapons and the ammunition, destroying the debris war. Weapons, they were the mother of evils. I mean, people are doing drugs because they are having weapons that give them the courage to cultivate or to traffic or to process it. In the meantime, the weapons have been used in the war of terror against the government, and they have been also used in the port of the international terrorism. To help secure the peaceful future of a post-conflict country, HALO teams act quickly and safely to identify, remove, disable, or destroy all conventional weapons and ammunition. HALO's weapon disposal teams are self-sufficient, working at the source of the problem, in the caches and armories of militias. HALO places great emphasis upon employing national staff in each host nation as the most effective way to build confidence among the local population and get the job done quickly and safely. That HALO staff understand their working environment is essential to the program. You can find any kind of weapon in our country. You can walk something like 10 meters from your village and you can reach to a depot full of ammunition. Whatever things you want, pick it up, pick it up. Even the children playing with the ammunition. So once security is coming back and weapon is not in the country, ammunition is on the country, the whole reconstruction, rehabilitation will be on the ground. To make disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration possible in Afghanistan, HALO's weapons and ammunition disposal teams work in support of the UN's Afghanistan New Beginnings program. We do not have the capability within AMBP to identify and then manage ammunition or, uh, or weapons in a technically proficient manner. We rely on HALO Trust to provide us with national staff and with international advisors who are experts in this field. HALO Trust is still uh, now the only organization in Afghanistan which can provide that level of expertise. To make safe the ammunition and weapons dumps that litter post-conflict Afghanistan, the HALO teams work closely to support both the Afghan MOD and international security forces. We're finding a lot of caches, a lot of ammunition out there. Halo Trust come and clean up that area for me, take it and they dispose of it, which is very critical because that ammunition can be used for IEDs. It's an improvised explosive device. That's a major factor hurting people here in Afghanistan. They've done an excellent job. As, as far as getting things cleaned up, and clearing areas and making it safe for the personnel of Afghanistan. Anytime I've ever asked for help, they've been there, they've cleaned it up, no questions asked, and they've disposed of it safely. Ammunition, of course, is a very dangerous thing that uh, we rely on Halo Trust to 
anticipate and destroy safely. Quite often ammunition is found in turrets, in heavy weapons, in breaches, in small arms, and other weapons. And Halo Trust teams have proven themselves to be very proficient and reliable in identifying dangers associated with ammunition and destroying both the weapon and the ammunition safely. The ammunition and weapons disposal practices used in Afghanistan are simple, effective, and safe, and are replicated worldwide by HALO's teams. As part of the demilitarization of Cambodia, the National Army relies upon HALO's expertise to clear ammunition caches remaining after the war. Where limited space is available for demolition sites, the HALO teams have developed safe ways of destroying ammunition without disrupting the local community. Because uh, we put uh, small arm ammunition in the uh, container, uh, we uh, thick metal, and so uh, when it's burned, uh, the flame or the bullet could not come out. You see uh, the people living around here, uh, we can burn easily and safely. During one month of operations alone, HALO's Cambodian team destroyed over 700,000 rounds of small arms ammunition. In order to enhance productivity, HALO teams deflagrate mortars in large numbers using simple and effective procedures. In Angola, HALO is the government's lead partner, supporting the national police to disarm the country. In all post-conflict countries where HALO is working, the teams destroy both weapons and ammunition to ensure verifiable parity of disarmament across armed groups. There appear to be vast numbers of small arms and light weapons in private hands in this country, possibly millions. The war has now been over for over three years, and part of stability um, it means that the people no, need, no longer need these weapons. There has been a reluctance in the past to hand them in. Such a public demonstration that has so much clear support could well be the way that this whole process kickstarts itself uh, to get the small arms out of private hands uh, and get them destroyed. What is happening is that people, in fact, are surrendering the guns, are surrendering the guns to the government. But the question which comes immediately is, where are they going to put these guns? The work of Helotrust is coming just on the right time. To this event that I would call unique in the history of Angola, I would say unique in the sense that it is the first time that there is this public demonstration in the destruction of the guns. HALO uses the ability of its national staff to communicate at the right level with armed groups to build confidence in the disarmament process and to gain access to caches of weapons and ammunition. During this highly sensitive process, it is essential that all procedures are transparent and agreed. Thousands and thousands weapons had been handed over to the DDR process, and uh, I have decided to uh, hand it over several thousand weapons. There is no need for weapon anymore. 
the weapons we need it just will be enough for Afghan National Army and Afghan National Police, and that's it. In the end, I want all commanders to hand over their weapons, and then Afghanistan can be a peaceful country. In Afghanistan, HALO teams accompany all UN mobile disarmament units, providing support wherever disarmament happens. The weapons and ammunition disposal teams are mobile, self-sufficient, and they will deploy to where disarmament or weapons collection is taking place. And that is essential because it means that we are going to the people that are going to be disarmed, and they can see that the weapons are being taken off them or the ammunition is being taken off them is being destroyed or is being stored sensibly. It means that they participate in the process and the community they come from can see it as well. It's essential that this is transparent. My name is Abdul Farooq and during the jihad I was one of the commander of Ahmad Shah Massoud. We are happy. DDR is very good. Most of my mujahideen are looking for works and there will be some financial support from DDR process for our mujahideen. Prior to destruction or storage, HALO teams make safe any weapon, from a pistol to a tank. Heavy weapons to be brought under the control of the Afghanistan New Beginnings program are safely deactivated. Breech blocks and other essential component parts are removed and given unique serial numbers before being stored at MOD sites. Every stage of the program, detailed records are kept of what is stored and what is destroyed. Copies are provided to the UN and the national MOD of each host nation. Transparency is vital. The backbone to the Weapons and Ammunition Disposal Project is the auditing process that provides a paper trail that traces weapons and ammunition that come into the project from the point they come in to their destruction. And those records remain and that is absolutely paramount to the success of a disarmament process that people believe that is happening. Civilians will suffer if uh, weapons are not collected in a transparent and responsible manner, and um, if ammunition is not identified, transported and or destroyed. The days of reaching power through the power of the gun is over. Penal Trust has been very really helpful. I have no doubt that the disarmament program as a whole will be a success story in Afghanistan. With the continuing support of its donors, HALO's weapons and ammunition disposal program has grown rapidly enabling the development of simple and safe procedures using reliable and cost-effective technology, which may be employed in any post-conflict situation. Hello, Trust is here, is helping us to make sure that our guns, the ones that are not in use, they will be destroyed. The removal of the weapons is absolutely fundamental to a successful, genuine conflict resolution. In one year, we destroyed over 25 million rounds of machine gun ammunition, tens of thousands of weapons, and over a million large items of ordnance that could be put into improvised explosive devices. So HALO has been able to transfer its skills very quickly from mine clearance to weapons destruction. HALO now requires donor support to develop its existing programs and to expand into other post-conflict situations, including Sudan, the Great Lakes region of Africa, and West Africa. <laughs>